Now we're looking for the probability that a randomly selected value is in a certain range that's given. What we're trying to do is find the area under a normal curve with the given properties. We'll go to staplet.com, normal distributions, and remember this has two operations. Here I'm looking for area because I'm trying to find a probability. I'm looking for the output of this probability function. Start by entering the mean and standard deviation that's given. Plot the distribution, and you can see that labeled x-axis. And if we think about our value of 154.4, we can find where that is. That's going to be less than a standard deviation to the left of the mean, because it's not quite to that first tick mark. So we'll see a vertical line being drawn here, and we'll shade to the right, since that's a right or greater than arrow. We'll know that it's going to be more than 50% or 0.5. Down here, shade to the right of a value of 154.4. There is an area of 0.8157. We also see a z-score just in case we can see that that's not quite a standard deviation to the left or on the negative side. And showing labels, we'll see our x value. That is a boundary for the shaded region. And our shaded region itself is about 82% of the curve.